Hello, and welcome to a new Let's Play. I want to play the Dark Side Detective. This game looks really cool and weird and funny. Um, I think I don't really know much about it except that it's sort of Twin Peaksy. There's like some supernatural stuff, but it's also comedic, and it has old school point and click adventure game charm. So that sounds right at my alley. For this occasion, <laughs> I have made myself a cocktail. According to Liquor.com, is the dark side, um, and th <laughs> this. I think it's going to be disgusting. <laughs> Basically what it is is two and a half ounces of gin, three quarters ounce something called Barolo Chinato, which I have no idea what that is, but the closest thing I could find is vermouth, um, three dashes of Peychaud's bitters, I don't know how to pronounce that. I used Angostura <laughs> orange bitters, and it, the garnish is a brandy cherry. I had just a sweet Rainier cherry, and I've heard that in some... In some circles, they put a twist of lime in there, so I also did that to try and make this less disgusting. But we're doing a, a detective story, so let's have a, a fucking martini. All right, here we go. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. <laughs> that is definitely a martini, but that is way better than I was expecting. The bitters and the vermouth make it so it does not taste like you're just drinking pretty much straight gin, which is great because that's, <laughs> it's actually really good for, for what it is. That's good. Okay. Let's start. Ooh, case file. Okay. Twin Lakes police system. So we can do Malice in Wonderland or Tome Alone. Um, I think we'll start with number one. That seems like a good place to start. What about this? Oh, this is just settings. Okay. Um, super high def. Virtual reality. Spooky vision. You or she can't run this. <laughs> um, spooky vision. I don't... I mean, I'm assuming that that's the highest, right? Police corruption. Still on. This is going nowhere. <laughs> you should give up on this. <laughs> you don't learn, do you? Okay, so this is just... Well, then, in that case, I'm putting it on my machine camera on this. Language. English. How to play. Um, I think I can figure that out. Unlock bonus cases. Bonus cases unlocked. Oh, okay. Okay, so is there any other settings I want to fuck with? I don't think so. Let me turn everything down and just a skosh. Okay, let's do it. Malice in Wonderland. Case summary. The chief has sent me to the Jones residence. Dooley is there with further details. Start investigation. Let's go. Officer Dooley. Whoa, I almost shot you there, detective. You shouldn't be sneaking around like that. Detective McQueen. <laughs> Dooley, you watched me drive up. I had my siren on. You waved at me as I pulled in. <laughs> Guess this place has me spooked out a little. So what happened here? Chief Scully just called me up and told me to get here ASAP. No details. Seven-year-old kid, Alice, went missing a day ago. No sign of her leaving the house. Seems to be the kind of spooky crap, I mean, the kind of case you're into, detective. <laughs> Great. Let's get started. <laughs> okay. This is cute so far. I like the, uh, the ambiance. Squad car. Our trusty squad car. <laughs> I like to call it the Popo Moto. <laughs> um. All right, let's let's just go in. Roy Jones. Uh, Officer Dooley, why is there a hobo dripping all over my carpet? Uh, that's Detective Francis McQueen, Mr. Jones. He's here to investigate. I see. Twin Lakes finest, eh? Yeah. So how can I help you, Detective? Tell me about Alice. 
I'll level with you, detective. I don't have many dealings with her. She has a limited conversation pool. She's seven. Exactly. A tedious age. So I leave that to the nanny. She's around here somewhere. <laughs> this guy's a piece of work. Where were you last night? Why didn't you notice she was missing? I was... out. How wonderfully shady. Have you got an alibi? Where I was is none of your business, detective. My taxes pay your salary. They also pay for the cell and questioning room I'm going to have Dooley here take you to. Fine, call this number. They'll vouch for me. Busty Bell's Booty Boutique. Classy stuff. Ah, Bell's. Fond memories. I mean, where was he? A bell shop? What? <laughs> you received a item of matches. Where did I get matches from that? What is this? Okay, resume. Oh, so I can save at any point. Okay. Nice schooner. <laughs> you dummy, it's not a schooner, it's a sailboat. A schooner is a sailboat, Dooley. I hope you don't smoke around your kid. Thankfully, detective, I'm rarely around my kid. Yeah. Um, okay, let's go to the hallway first. Let's see. This reminds me of my own grandfather. Your grandfather was a clock? What? No, he had a clock. Shame. I thought I'd finally found something interesting about, about you. <laughs> what? I'm interesting. <laughs> Whatever you say, detective. Locked. Wonder where I'd find a key. A uh, box of junk. Hmm. A blacklight bulb. May as well take it. Now all we need is a disco ball, some white clothes, and fat beats. Then we've got ourselves a good night. A good night is finding this kid. Tiny closet. Back to the living room. Okay, let's go upstairs. Daughter's bedroom. Mrs. Jones is in here. Okay. Um... Hello, can I ask? My baby, my baby is gone. Can you tell me about Alice? She just disappeared. My baby. Is there anything? You have to find her. Goodbye. Find her. <laughs> okay. Tell me where she is, bear. <laughs> I'm only kidding. You don't know. You're only a bear. <laughs> a stupid, know nothing bear. <laughs> this is a lot of pink. I think it'd have run off, too. A drawing of our suspect. <laughs> really? I'll put out an APB. No, Dooley, don't do that. <laughs> this is silly. Hey, I know that tree. It owes me five bucks. Never seen a horse with five legs before. That horse has four legs. Right? Yeah. <laughs> this is no time for art, detective. Blacklight. This looks useful. Blacklight marker. Hmm. I don't have much use for a dozen pink socks. Blacklight marker. Okay, um... Attic. A place this fancy deserves something nicer than plastic flowers. What an odd place for a telephone. Really? They must have run out of places to draw... I mean, put it... <laughs> Okay. Fourth wall breaking. I love it. Uh, tell me about Alice. She's spoiled and sticks her nose where it doesn't belong. But that's what having super rich parents will do to you, I guess. I don't know what that voice is. <laughs> I don't know what she's like yet. What's a nanny doing in the master bedroom? Nothing suspicious, that's for sure. No siree. <laughs> How long have you been working for the Jones? Jones is detective. Even though it ends with an S, you still pluralize it. It's now really the best time. It's always a good time for grammar. <laughs> anyway, answer the question. Long enough to harbor no ill will whatsoever. Hmm. Say, you're the nanny. The very innocent nanny, yes. Do you have keys for the various rooms? I am a nanny, not a maid. Right, but do you? Yes. <laughs> you 
May I have the key to the study, then? Sure, there's nothing incriminating in there, anyway. Okay, lady. <laughs> You're being awfully... awfully cagey. She seems like a sweet kid. <laughs> this picture... <laughs> yeah, this, this three-pixel person seems like a really sweet kid. Don't worry, we'll find a detective. Alice and her mom look quite happy here. Seems impolite to go rifling around in somebody's drawers uninvited. Yeah, I suppose it does. A waterbed, very fancy. Looks like something has been kicked under here. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Strange page, what is this? It's a peculiar pattern from the Occult for Dummies book. All right. Hard to believe this is the same woman we spoke to. The stress of all this has hit her hard. All right. Can we go to the attic? The paint thinner fell when the shelf gave way. Not much left in it now. Paint thinner, okay. Just a bunch of forgotten memories. Those look heavy enough to knock somebody out cold. As addicts go, this one is extra creepy. Hmm, may not be broken after all, just a blown bulb. Well, can I? <laughs> a blacklight bulb for blacklighting things. I hope this doesn't reveal somebody's attic shame. <laughs> what the hell? Well, that doesn't look ominous at all. Uh... Okay, I seem to have everything I need. Let's get down to some spooky hijinks and redraw those missing symbols. Oh, right, okay. How do, okay, so let's see. Yes, that looks good. That looks good too. Yeah. So let's see, we need... Uh, we need this, but no, this. We need this one here. Foink. We need this guy over here. This guy right here. That should do it. Right. Maybe now is a good time to stop doing, well, anything really. Wait, okay, first. Ow! Can I go back down? I want to go in the study first. Before we go through the portal to another dimension or something. Study key. And hey, presto, we're in. Dog statue. This statue is ugly enough to be worth a lot of cash. <laughs> Roy Jones Esquire. It takes a certain type of person to have an oil painting of themselves. Yeah. His magazine collection. Jeez, this guy's obsessed with jugs. <laughs> jugs Weekly. <laughs> Another lovely pair. Oh, this game is fantastic. I love it. 10 out of 10. Hey, I just realized that there are only two seats in this entire house. Don't be daft, Dooley. There are more, they're just off camera. <laughs> An old eye lantern seems to have some oil left, too. Well, that must be handy. A nice collection of books. The dust suggests they've not been looked at in some time. For shame. That is shameful. Okay. You can never trust a man who owns too many books, that's what I say. How many books are too many? Six? How many books do you own? I don't feel comfortable with this line of questioning. <laughs> I didn't realize you can ask him about stuff. Uh, does it seem odd to you that these folks don't have a kitchen or bathroom? The recession hit us all hard, Dooley. <laughs> one of those crystals is worth more than we get paid in a year. We could take one. You, uh, you passed the corruption test. Well done, detective. <laughs> I need to know, I gotta find all the dialogue now, because this is great. Did you follow me into this closet? You may have needed backup. All right. <laughs> Whoa, these folks must be millionaires. This is a lot of pink. I think I never enough. to, oh, he already said that, okay. And I already, okay, we already checked in there too. Let's go through the, the portal. 
Yeah, let's do it. Oh, even I'm not foolish enough to go in there with no light. Well, I have a lantern. Can you use it? Nope. Dissolves paint markers and all the rest do. Oh, do I have to light the lantern? Should probably light this thing, you know, just in case. Mm. Okay, Dooley, let's do this. No offense, detective, but I'm going nowhere near that creep fest. I'll, uh, stand guard out here. Oh, it's Alice. Hello, mister. Hey, kiddo. Are you here to take me home? Yep. Good, I'm hungry and the sounds down from downstairs are scaring me. Yeah, let's get out of here. Pile of junk. Don't look in there, mister. That's where the three-eyed rats hide. <laughs> the label says, Old Milk, circa 1880. Why would you store that? <laughs> Boxes. A box marked, Baby's First Cult Robes. <laughs> Crash. Bang. Oh, God. <laughs> Not so fast, detective. Where's Dooley? That idiot. I knocked him out. Can't have you snooping around anymore, so I'm going to trap you here. At least take the girl. Oh, I intend to. I'm her legal guardian, after all. It's my job to look after her. Especially if anything should happen to her parents. Say, for example, they're getting trapped in the dark side's version of their bedroom. It's where they'd be now if Alice hadn't gotten into my stuff and stupidly trapped herself up here. I figured I'd be best. it'd be best to lay low until you had gone. Thought you'd have given up by now. What kind of cop would give up on a missing kid? Most of the TLPD? Sadly fair. <laughs> so that's what this is? An inheritance scheme? You have to admit it. It's a fairly perfect crime. It is, actually. <laughs> Even if you do get rid of me, then what? Alice knows what you're up to. She's a smart kid. If she's so smart, she'll know to keep her mouth shut. <laughs> Once Dooley wakes, you and her scheme will be done for. Hmm. Good point. I'll just have to get you to drag him in here with you. Come on. Okay, drag your friend in here. No funny business. Um. Hmm. So, yeah, I'm going to trap her in there. <laughs> have a taste of your own medicine. No! <laughs> So, the kid got into the nanny's stuff and accidentally used it to trap herself in that creepy attic? The dark side. But that's a surprisingly succinct summary of things, yes. Shame the nanny was certifiable. She was a looker. Duly, she was dabbling in the dark arts, with a plan to trap innocent people in a parallel world, kidnap their kid, and steal all their cash. I said it was a shame, jeez! I wonder where the nanny got the occult books from, anyway. That stuff is hard to find these days. A case for another day, I guess. First of all, we have to figure out what kind of paperwork covers this mess. <laughs> case closed! <laughs> that was great. Loved it. Fantastic. <laughs> okay. Next time. Tome alone. <laughs> Hope you're doing well, and hope you continue to do well. Bye.